Hello YouTube, this is Learn Tutorials, and welcome to your 26th GIMP tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the Quick Mask tool in GIMP. So, the Quick Mask tool, what it's going to do is it's going to take a selection, or I guess it can make one too, but mostly it's going to take a selection, and it's going to edit it using other tools such as the uh, brush and the pencil um, and other ones too that are mainly used for editing the actual image itself so um, let's get started first to use the quick mask you're gonna want to go down here in the little corner right here to the left of the scroll box and you're gonna want to click on it so what this is gonna do is it's gonna toggle the quick mask on you're gonna see everything becomes red except for the area you selected so I'm just gonna get this so if you have a pencil and I guess a brush too doesn't really matter and if you have black as your foreground color what this is gonna do is if you draw um, not on the red if you draw on the area that's not red you're going to see that wherever you draw becomes red so what this means is it's actually if I toggle quick mask off, you're going to see it actually deselected that area. So as you can see, it's outside of the selection since this brush can't do anything on it. So if I do the opposite and I start drawing with white as my primary color, you're going to see that it actually is selecting that area. So if I just get this, this part is not selected and this part is so that's neat and let me see another thing you can do is you can actually um, you can actually choose a shade of gray so what this is gonna do is since um, transparency isn't always like black and white no pun intended because um, we're working with black and white colors right now it's not always a hundred percent selected or a zero percent selected you can have partially selected areas of the image so if I draw with a shade of gray that's I guess somewhere in between you're going to see that it's red but it's not as red it's partially red I guess so what this means is let's say I have a black if I'm drawing with black and then I'm drawing with a shade of gray this is a hundred percent not selected this is 100 percent selected and this is partially selected let's see how this works out so as you can see this if i draw here it's 100 percent selected that means that this brush is going to work i can't go here it's not selected but if i go over here you're going to see that this brush or whatever i'm doing i guess um probably just the brush though if I'm doing this then it's only going to partially work so it's um, I, I guess it's partially drawing black on there because it's partially selected so let me see and also you can do some other stuff too yep you can um, use a gradient actually I'm just gonna go um, toggle the quick mask off and then hit none so then if I go back here everything's gonna not be selected so if I make a gradient on the quick mask you're going to see that everything over here is not red so that means it's selected but if I go out if I draw over here it's gonna draw like normal because it's inside the selection but if I try to go over here you're gonna see that the uh, pencil is going to kind of act like a gradient because these areas are partially selected oh whoops I guess you can double click and it'll double the effect or something huh I didn't know that well now I do I guess so anyway I guess you can like go over it and it'll work a second time I guess because it's partially selected and it'll just keep adding up the things you do I don't really know um well, whatever. I guess that is the end of this demonstration. I'll just control Z everything. Select none. Okay. Another thing you can do is you can use the 
bucket tool and you can actually click on the quick mask and it'll work. Oh, whoops, I have to use white. So this is going to select everything. So let's say if I go out, everything will be selected. I'm just going to select none. So if I use the quick mask, I can actually outline an area and then use the bucket fill and it'll just fill it all in make a selection and that's that so that's nice um, another thing you can do is if you're using the quick mask and let's say you just have something here now if you go to the filters you can actually edit the quick mask so if I go on let's say if I do a Gaussian blur or something you're going to see that the quick mask selection is actually going to be blurred so that means it's going to blur if I draw inside of the selection so that's neat and um, let me see I talked about that 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 and that and filters okay I think that's oh one more thing eraser yeah it's the one thing I almost forgot um, if you go to the quick mask with an eraser and if you try to erase with black as your primary I think it's going to select wherever you use the eraser with black as your primary if you do the opposite it's going to work the opposite way so um yeah because if you use white then it will select but if you erase the white i guess it'll deselect so yeah just kind of think of the eraser as the opposite of the pencil tool um so you can I don't know, do that. So, anyway, another thing I almost forgot. Actually, there's a couple other things I almost forgot. So, um, let's say I make a, something in the quick mask here. Anything. I'm just going to do this because I can. So, if I hit Control C, and if I go to another image, and I open quick mask mode, and if I hit Control V, which is going to paste the quick mask in, you can actually just put the quick mask in this image so now you can do whatever you want here um, so that's really nice if you have a selection that you want to transfer from one image to the other just go into quick mask mode and then go into the other image with quick mask mode and it's going to work the same way so um, one warning though I actually tried that on two different images of two different uh, resolutions and I guess sometimes it'll like scale the quick mask and like make it bigger depending on uh, how big the second image is so yeah these are the exact same resolution though so it shouldn't be a problem I'm just going to get rid of that and one more thing oh my goodness I forget everything now it is so if you right click on the bull button you can toggle it from here which is kind of strange you can you know it's more efficient to just click it but whatever you can configure the color and opacity so it works better when you have quick mask mode on so you can change the opacity make it 100 percent red which i don't recommend you won't be able to see anything or zero that would kind of be strange so i'm just going to type in 50. um i don't know if you want it more red or less red you can choose that and you can choose which color you want to so you know if you want um green as in my profile picture then I guess you can do that and it'll do it so I hope I can actually undo that yeah I'll just do that so now I think it's back to normal so anyway now what you can also do is you can mask the unselected areas or you can mask the selected areas so what that means is if I do something in the quick mask right here so um, one second actually okay good I have a timer and I didn't want it to go off in the middle of the video that'd be annoying so anyway if you have something in the quick mask right here and if you check the other thing so 
it should be right here on default, I think. So if you go mask selected areas and click on that, it's going to do the reverse. And that means that the I think the black and white is going to also work the opposite way. Black is now going to select while white deselects. So um there, that's how it works. I don't know why um, you'd want that. I would personally just uh, choose the one mask unselected areas because I'm used to it. Um, but anyway, whatever. If you want to do that, that's totally your thing. And uh, also, yeah, I think I think that's it. If um, you can also hit help. Um, yeah, I guess this is it. Um, I guess I'll just see you in the next tutorial, and I'm going to try to make more videos because I don't think I've posted <laughs> in a month. So, um, yeah, that's pretty inconsistent. I'm going to uh, work a little bit harder on this YouTube channel. So um, I'll just see you guys in the next one. If you have any questions, post them in the comments. Um, see ya.